So this is what we woke up to this morning. Not too bad, cloudy, bit of rain, but it's gonna limit how many outside projects we can do today. So, the big project for today is to get started on the head, the front head. And as you can see, it is pretty gross. The floor is kind of soft. Everything's a little bit mushy, so that's all going to get ripped out. I'll be doing uh, replacing the wood probably and fiberglassing over that and then painting. And uh, also the actual like toilet itself is got some like mounting screws broken out on the back I can't even show you but uh, anyway mounting screws are broken out on the back the pump handle doesn't work and it's time just to to replace a few things so let's get started First things first, Logan took out the old head, or toilet, then removed the gross old tiles and took out the old rotting plywood that was rotting because of a black water leak in the toilet. I just wanted to show you guys this because it's disgusting. A lot of Look how brown this water is. See that? Ew. That is gross. Yeah, it's gross. Yeah, it's gross. That is the water from washing out the head and the bilge. Just the front part of the bilge. Not the whole bilge, which I have to continue to do. Just the back. Well, I guess it's technically the front, the V-birth part of the bilge. Ugh! So gross. So I guess the toilet was leaking for quite a while. Yeah, I guess so. And I don't know what and uh, request for our, our birthday month. I don't know. Maybe it's disgusting. It's, it's made things really gross back here, so it's a good thing that we're changing the head. Birthday, birthday After it was cleaned, Logan sanded off all the glue from the tiles and built us a new toilet platform. mix up my first batch of epoxy um, and then I'm gonna use some um, 406 to thicken it up so that I can fill at the corners all the hard edges so then when I fiberglass this It'll be a nice round corner. Cool. Yeah. I've never done this before. I read up all my the instructions, so I'm probably gonna do this wrong anyway. <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. That's why we started with the small head instead of the parts that are integral to our survival on the water. Well, it's more than I thought it was going to be, but that should be good. And then I have to mix a bunch of the silica stuff into it. 
and I'm not really sure how much of this stuff to put in. I have no idea. So this is going to be quite interesting. I don't even know how to get it in there. Because I don't have a scoop. <laughs> and it's really powdery. Well, that's a lot. Yeah, but I don't think it is a lot. So I think... Well, hopefully it mixes it. There's not very much information on this, on how much of this stuff to put in. Kind of just experiment and see what happens? Yeah. I read through the West Systems book and it says to put a bunch in and then experiment. Okay. And then just keep putting more in if it's not thick enough. <laughs> Until it gets to uh, the consistency that you're looking for. Which I think I'm looking for the consistency of peanut butter. Pretty close then, hey? A mm -hmm. little bit more. Definitely gonna need more. But also there's this other stuff that I got from the boat um, from the marine supply store and they said it works really good for thickening this up. So I might try some of that as well. What is it? I don't remember the name of it. It looks like silica but it's different. But it's some kind of powder. You can add both of them? Yep. And the... Uh, the boat shop there, they do a ton of, a ton of, um, well, they build fiberglass boats. <clears throat> so I don't think they would steer me wrong. Hopefully not. They do this stuff every day. Stuff looks like concrete. Mm -hmm. And again, no real specific amount. <laughs> but that's alright, I can't really stick to a plan anyway. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> I think that's probably good. It's pretty sick. I hope. It's thicker than peanut butter. Yeah, well hopefully it doesn't sag. I think I got the right kind of thing going on here. So, I'm not really sure how to do this, but I'll goop some of this shit on. Uh, let's start here. And work it in. Probably use a putty knife, but. You have one? Somewhere. I think, is that it? That looks like it. That's just top about row. it. Oh, the bolt, or the screw heads. Yeah. Good call. So today, I've got just about all the prep work done. And it's all sanded and I'm ready to now just clean it up with some acetone and do a little bit of reading and hopefully lay some fiberglass down. See how it goes. Basically I just took out of this big fiberglass mat sheet and I'm only using six mil because it's not really structural or anything. It's just to keep the water from rotting out the plywood. Um, there shouldn't be water by the way, but it happens. Um, so I've taken my pieces of glass. I've got three pieces here. I've cut them to the right size and shape and just made them all fit. 
and Taryn's going to help me mix up some epoxy and we're going to attempt this for the first time. No pressure. We're just getting our uh, our masks all figured out because I mean you should be wearing the right PPE stuff. So maybe is it going to fit? So we'll see. sanded the base and some of the sides quickly just to see if I could get it scuffed up for paint. Cool. I think I'll have to hand sand the sides to get them rough enough for the paint to stick to. Oh yeah, hey. Cool. And then we'll have to uh, tape everything else off. So I'm just about to sand the bathroom so that we can paint it a different color and we've made <laughs> uh, we've done our best to try to contain any dust that's going to come from this process by kind of like making a little plastic room. It's not a creepy. Anyway there's also a vacuum attached to the sander so it should be okay. And then all that blue shall become white. Oh my god, look at that. That's insane. Okay. I just finished sanding everything I think that I'm going to sand with the palm sander in this head. We had this like vacuum system set up where we had the vacuum attached to the palm sander so it was supposed to suck all of the dust out as we were sanding. But the vacuum pretty much died during that process and it like blew dust all over the the uh, cabin I shouldn't say all over I mean it's all over in the air but it's like on the carpet all around the vacuum cleaner it's all over the vacuum cleaner like I don't know what it did so anyway that's not working anymore so instead we live in the land of dust I thought there was only like one coat of paint on here but there's at least two. You can see, um, you can see the blue. That's what like the whole thing was, was like this periwinkle blue. And on some of this stuff, we've got it down to yellow. And then some of it has like an orange underneath the yellow. So I'm going to have to hand sand the rest of this, but I don't, Logan's supposed to be coming with a different vacuum cleaner. And I'm hoping that whew, I can vacuum all that out because like, you can't even like breathe in here. There's so much dust. So anyway, that's another step. Almost done in the bathroom. And then, then it's going to be time to paint and then time to put the toilet in. And then that's it. Yay. And then we'll have a new head. It took us three hours to vacuum and wipe out all the dust that was in the cabin and galley, but I guess at least the boat got a good clean. Before painting, Logan also pre-drilled and filled all the holes with epoxy to really make sure that no water was going to get into the plywood. 
Before we moved on to the Blue Peter, we renovated our house. We have a house that we rent out still that we were living in, in between Ireland and the Blue Peter. So we painted the entire house white and gray, and um, the gray that we got we used for trim, and it's called Scuff Axe. <coughs> and it's just like, it's supposed to be really resistant to wear. So we're going to put that on the floor in the head. And we are going to put, oh, and also, okay. So we're going to put that on the floor and on the countertop in the head. And then the rest of the walls we're going to paint with the leftover white that we have. It's not the same white that we painted in the house. It's called cloud white, so, which is not what we painted, I don't think, on the walls in the house. So I'm not sure how it's going to look, but that's what we're doing. So we're just using regular household paints. And then we've got a primer that we're going to prime everything with first. We learned a valuable lesson during this process, which was that not all household primers are great for boats, and we ended up in a potentially dangerous situation after using an oil-based primer. Logan had a few challenges while reinstalling the hoses for the toilet, but they worked out for the better. Today was another day, and after a frustrating start on this project yesterday, I think I've pretty much got it nailed. Just have to replace the uh, raw water intake hose, and, uh, and then put the rest of the bathroom back together, or head. So, here's the loop. And now, instead of having our hoses come up through here and have this weird kink that we had, this was kinked really bad. It now goes through here. And the bottom one goes through there. And it's all out of sight, out of mind. A lot cleaner, but now I'm going to have to fill some more holes. Another time. The foot pump went back in, then the mirror, and then the light. bathroom one step away from being completely finished we just have to put these doors back on and then it's done but that's a new toilet this is all fiberglassed in so there shouldn't be any leaking issues if the toilet does leak um, sink is the same but painted and we still have some cleaning up to do but Foot pump is back. So we've got water. Mirror. And cupboard. So yeah. Toilet's plumbed all the way up to there. There's bends in the hose, but they're gone now, so it should flush nicer. Logan rewired the light. And we have hanging toilet paper again. Pretty awesome. It's nice to have two tones in here instead of just one. So this did not get painted, but I kind of like it like that. It's pretty similar to the like the gray that's there and on the floor. And that was the color that the whole bathroom was. So now we've got, I guess, technically three tones in here and it feels a lot better. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and maybe even check out our Patreon. 